Welcome to Renditor Chronicles Podcast. I'm Ethan Taylor. And I'm Dustin Jelly. Our hope is to inspire new and old hunters alike. We hope you can join us on this journey of lessons that we have, are, and will learn through the world of hunting. All right, Dusty. And this is it. We are live. We are live. Live with the new sound system. Yep. Trying out the old Zoom 6. Nobody cares Zoom but six. us yeah. about that. But Some uh, sweet headsets yeah. that we haven't had. Yeah. So, Dude, just giving it the, the old college try, huh? Just yeah. Seeing how it goes. Seeing how it goes. Man, so I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired of being cooped up. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a strong proponent, even still. This will be coming out in two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, yeah. And I'm still a strong proponent of uh, what these are we, episodes what are we calling being called it? the lockdown episodes. Lockdown episodes. The COVID. Yeah. The COVID-19 the lockdown. COVID, yes. I think people appreciate right, that. There we go. I like that that level. You do? So. Yeah. Well, now I can now I can hear you. I feel yeah. pretty well. So, yeah, I don't know. You, you've you been still working. Yeah. yeah. I've still been working, but I've been able to work from home, mm-hmm. which I don't know if it's it's the best idea when you have five kids You've running around. You've been working around. from home? Yeah, the last two days I've been from home. I actually only have to go into my work facility once uh, a week. So Right now? Theoretically, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Five kids running around, it's a little hard to <laughs> focus. You're like, uh, yeah, I'm going to need yeah. to come in today. There's definitely some pressing matters. Yeah, the, 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 there's a me, moment yesterday. me out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> but, Dude. So... You, though, the other night, yeah. got out to do some practicing. Yeah, yeah, man. How was that? It was good. Um, it was just, it was, it's one of those things that's so difficult to keep some of this stuff on the on the forefront as far as, like, practice. And, mm-hmm. and it's like, I know the things I'm supposed to be working on. And actually, even the thing you'd mentioned when you're like... <laughs> Which were, thing? I feel like I've so, mentioned a lot yeah. of things. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, the, the thing about peaking. I feel like a, na- a nagging girlfriend sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done this? No, that's Have um, you practiced this? That's. I also feel like you're like, oh, <laughs> this is good. I'm glad we're coming clean about these feelings. You might be the podcast wife, but I'm the podcast nagging girlfriend. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, um, it's actually, you, you had mentioned, we had been talking, obviously, um, mm-hmm. just about shooting, practicing all that stuff. And, uh, one of the things I had not practiced yet was blind bail shooting because mm-hmm. I kept peeking at the target mm-hmm. and I'd posted a video recently, two weeks ago, if you're listening to it now, now. um, where you can see my head posted just, it doof, yesterday, doof, doof. but it'll be two weeks by the time yeah. we drop this. Yeah. It's like inception. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so anyway, uh, I just, I just, you were like, you're not allowed. It was funny because you're like, you're not allowed. <laughs> you were not allowed to go to the archery range and shoot. What'd you call it? Like a face target? Or yeah, a, yeah, five face. Yeah, five yeah, face target. Any yeah. any target. You're like, you're not allowed to shoot any of that <laughs> until you go and blind bail shoot and get some practice yeah. and figure that out. And I was like, whatever. And whatever. So it was funny because I told you whatever, but the reality was, is I was like, oh yeah, I'm not actually gonna go shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was difficult because I'm like hey, I'm also not gonna go pay to blind bail shoot yeah because I can do that in my garage from my in my two the two yards of space that's required it's all you need yeah and so um so I finally I finally got around to it the other night and um I just think one of the key things that has helped me or that is like recognizing retrospectively is just having things like on the ready where it's just like quick grab it go do it. It's not this elaborate, like, setup and just, oh, I need to get this here and all. Like, it's just like, oh, that's there, that's there. All I do is grab it and go shoot. Mm. Close my eyes a few times, get some rounds, to, get some arrows down some range. Well, I shot a bunny the other day, so yeah. uh, I was feeling pretty good about that. So I did get some rounds down range. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so I had – it was really weird, and I had mentioned it in the video, but it was really weird um, – because it's something that happens subconsciously when I'm peeking, mm-hmm. you know, like trying to see where my arrow's going to hit. Um, and the conscious effort it took. <laughs> like I tried taking some shots at first with my eyes open. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, I'm really fighting it. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm just going to close my eyes and take some shots. Well, I mean, I lined up. Yeah. Got everything set. Up. And then I was then. like, okay, close my eyes. And then I'd pull through. Um, 
And so I did that a good, good handful of times, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to open my eyes. And I filmed it because film has been serving me so well. <laughs> no, it's caught me. It, I mean, it's been betraying me in some sense because it's like, oh, you do it's suck. It's exposing yeah, you. Yeah, it's exposing. That's exposing a good way to put it. Exposing your vulnerabilities. <laughs> 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 your favorite word. Uh, uh, yeah. But it's been uh, exposing uh, the weaknesses or the things I need to work on. And finally... Um, so I was finally blank bail shooting and I videoed it cause of course I'm going to review it now. Um, and it felt really different, but it felt really good. Mm. And I was like, okay, it was just weird having like that intense focus yeah. on just pulling through. Mm-hmm. And it was a little weird cause I'm so used to the feeling and obviously you don't recognize it it's subconscious. So used to the feeling of needing to know where it hit. Mm. And so, like, letting that go yeah. was a pro- is a process. I still haven't, for sure. Because yeah. even by the time I was done, I was, I was still like, oh, I didn't check where that went. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, really, it was a really good feeling, actually. Huh. Like, oh, I don't, I don't so, need to care. So when you are blind bailing and you've got your eyes closed, what, what are you focused on then? So what I'm focusing on is, as uh, Joel Turner has taught, um, really focused... It, it really what what was really cool is it just eliminated this whole thing where it's for me it's always been connected that where you are is connected to downrange and mm-hmm. those are like those are the same thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas what happened was it was like all it was was about me and the bow mm. and doing a good pull through and that was it. And I was like, yep, I had all my stuff set up, so I didn't have to think about downrange. Yeah. Like, there's no reason to be thinking about downrange. Yeah. And so to be, like, isolated in this world of, like, eyes closed and just, like, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And it was just, like, so much more. It was almost, like, freeing. It was really weird. I don't want to get too uh, spiritual about it. (laughs) Um, But it was seriously, like, it was, like, really freeing being, like, oh, I just really like releasing an arrow. I really like focusing on this. Mm -hmm. And when I don't, and it made me, as I'm talking about it, I'm, like, Maybe I have some target panic. Maybe I have some mm. some triggers there because some subconscious target panic. Right, going because on. you should probably the, give up archery. Feeling like it's probably not feeling, for you. Yeah, <laughs> as some would say in the comments. Yeah. Um, but feeling like FYI, folks, everybody deals with target panic. Some yeah. of us are just conscious to it. Some of us aren't. And it's some a of real it just thing. doesn't affect maybe as if, much. If Levi Morgan struggles with target panic, well, maybe it just gonna, doesn't affect people as much. Yeah. Or it's you're just not conscious. To yeah. what well, level of target panic? Yeah, so I think there's definitely yeah. a, um, so, an argument for that. I think it's a whole discussion someday. Well, I think one, I guess one way to find out is doing some blank bail shooting. And for me, there you go. It was when you stripped away everything. It was like, oh, I don't have to think about the pin float. I don't have to think about like, which I shouldn't be thinking about. Mm-hmm. But like taking those things completely off the plate. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't feel this like intensity, I don't feel this rush, I don't feel like this fo- like this weird focus, mm-hmm. which obviously I think you do need to be more focused when yeah. it's... But, like, but it's this, a different in- placement of that focus. Yeah, yeah. And like the inten- having the intentionality uh, shifted so purely on just the release and pulling through and, um, and obviously for me not checking the target, <laughs> right? Like checking where I hit. Um, one foot to the left at two feet. Right, yeah. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so bad. Just into the drywall. Uh, oh, that would be brutal. Uh, um, or through your neighbor's garage into his car. Well, my neighbor is actually directly <laughs> behind her house, and he smokes occasionally, and I think he stands probably about where that arrow would be. I would get some mats and put it right behind your... Tar- your, your yeah. Eh, you know. No. <laughs> I live my life on the edge, what can I say? Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it's it was it was really interesting and and um, freeing in a lot of ways. Like mm. it didn't, I just felt like maybe I'm doing or thinking too much about the wrong things. Because mm-hmm. when I actually went to just the bow in me, that should be the majority, and it's for sure not the majority. Fifty fifty at best. That's me mm. being generous to myself. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it should be much heavier weighted on what's in your control. Yeah. And allowing the subconscious to do the pin thing and all that. Yeah. Um, trusting that that's going to work, um, trusting the process. And so that to me was really, really interesting. Hmm. And also just well, pulling the bow back. I've, I've noticed myself this last week, or I think it was actually yesterday or today, I, I caught myself doing the same thing that you're struggling with was wanting to pull my head. Look, because when, as I've been um, 
got a new arrow set up, and I've, I've been bear shaft tuning it. I kind of want to try to watch it fly so I can see if it's kicking or if it's flying straight. Mm -hmm. And so, but I've done enough of that to where subconsciously I've let it bleed into my actual shot process to where I'd go to shoot and I'd pull back, get through the clicker, and then I'd be like, oh, where is it? (laughs) And every time, like, my shot's way off. It's just like... I remember it hit me yesterday. I was like, oh, you dummy. Like, you're, you're pulling your head to you're watch. Peeking. Yeah, I'm peeking. Yeah. I want to see where it hits. Is that low? And, so is, there, is the, when you do that, is that pulling low and left? Uh, for or me. What, what does that look like? I pull, I pull high and left. Okay. Because I'm kind of, kind of pulling yeah. myself okay. um, up and out of position. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a. I think for it, me, it's, it's low and right. Because I'm like, I'm dropping pushing. the boat. I'm you're like dropping and looking like this. It, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because I, I, especially, so when I was shooting a five spot at the range before that, I've been, I'm going to journal my, Ooh. I'm going to journal my, Dear my diary, targets, my five I spots. Today I good. It was sunny, you know 75. I, here I am being vulnerable <laughs> to you, okay? No, you're being and honest. The, and the rest of the world <laughs> exposing my heart. Exposing no, your weaknesses. Um, so I was looking at, I was you know, going to be looking at yeah. these and see how they develop over time. Um, and one thing I saw on the last one, cause I would just shoot them like right in a row when mm-hmm. take an extended break between any of them. Mm-hmm. I was just load it up and get ready and go. Um, and the fifth one is just like sloppy as can be, but it's all like low and right. And mm-hmm. I was like, I wonder what that is. And, and, and now you figured it out. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm dropping the bow. Um, it's just, it's so weird because you watch and you think about it and you're like, yeah. oh, I can't be affecting it that much because it's yeah. just like so fast. Yeah. But, but it's obviously, enough. yeah, it's enough. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I found that has been helping me was when trying to go out and develop just good motor patterns was going with one arrow. Shoot that arrow with mm-hmm. all intent of purposes. Go get it. Come back. Reshoot it. And just, A, it was giving myself a little more rest time in between mm-hmm. shots. So keeping my mm-hmm. physical ability up. But yeah. then, too, mentally, just keeping my, the mental ability up as well because mm-hmm. now I had a break in between. Mm-hmm. I could refocus on that one arrow. Yeah, but how are you supposed to earn your stripes as an archer if you're unable to make an, a Robin Hood, if you're unable to shoot a Robin Hood? You can't, it's impossible to shoot a Robin Hood with one arrow. Am I, am I wrong? I, I guess if so you, if you really I guess want if you want to be yeah if you want that Instagram yes pose yes you do need two the, arrows. Then. Let's talk about the important stuff. Now, I two guess arrows. you're right. Minimal two arrows, two arrows, so you can Robin Hood. Yes, and then post yep. it and make it look like you're an incredible archer. When in all reality, you only got incredibly lucky. Okay, so am I the only <laughs> one that thinks this? When I see a Robin Hood, to me, this is uh, this is gonna be. To me, like a Robin Hood isn't legit. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like not worth bragging about no. if it's not in the X. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if you consistently missed right. Well, low, here's here here's here's where I'd be I'm okay like, with a Robin Hood. Yeah. And okay. someone two things. One, if you have more than two arrows and they're all like pretty much touching each other and you just happen to get one that went directly into the other one. Okay. I'd be okay with that because okay. that meant that you were actually consistent. However, most of the time, what I see is a spread like this, and then the one in the Robin Hood. We were like, "Oh, look at what I did today!" It's like, "Oh, you got lucky." Um, I've I've seen very few posts. I've seen I've had a couple of buddies I follow. Follow they one buddy posted he had Robin Hood, and he's like, "Well, that sucks," because <laughs> he was out like you know however much money he put into the arrow. It wasn't about like, "Oh, great, look at me, I'm so good of an archer." It was like, "Well, that sucks." It just destroyed an arrow because well, I got and, incredibly and you me, unlucky. You bought me. Um, I know you bought me some, uh, like, those blunted extra wide tips. Mm-hmm. And so, clearly, you just don't want me to get a Robin Hood before you do. Uh, so you can be like, oh, my trad bow, I got one and you didn't. <laughs> or I got one before you. Darn it, you Because there's no chance me. those blunted tips are going to be going you in uh, the back of another arrow. Man, yeah. how did you? Oof. I'm just saying, man. It's uh, the truth that's, is out. Yeah, that's. And uh, oh, okay. you're a sneaky, sneaky son of a gun. I am. So, and the, I think the other thing with the Robin Hood, too, is... Um, yeah, if you're all over the place, doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Um, and then too, like if you do get a Robin <laughs> it Hood, count. it I doesn't count. It doesn't count. I love this. We're like, the we're it, the for- foremost authority on this. Issue. We are. We are. And everybody should listen to th- what we have to say because we're the ultimate. Yeah, authority yeah. on this. Yep. yep. And uh, what well, we but think also matters, too, you guys. It it incredibly matters. 
This is important stuff right here. It's just like movie stars. They have the political, yes, political understanding. We are the Hollywood <laughs> of the <laughs> hunting and industry. archery industry. Like Absolutely. that's what it is. Like I don't self-proclaimed. No one can argue that. How can you deny no one can argue my that. experience? <laughs> yep, I absolutely. I am, yes. This is this is good. This is groundbreaking. Oh, my gosh. Um, but then, too, like I've, I've seen, like I said, a couple of people, when you get Robin Hood and you acknowledge the fact, like, well, that was either A, lucky, and then B, like, that sucks because I'm out X amount of dollars for yeah. an arrow. Yeah. Okay, that's, I can appreciate that kind of posting. Yeah. All but right. Don't all right. don't post that. I'll, You're I'll a credible shot when well, I think you, no, I'm like saying this. like you can definitely do the incredible shot thing. But oh yeah, I just think when you're like, you know, if not, Brady Ellison not, posted Robin Hood, I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. hats yeah. off, yeah, because the but guy shot a perfect 900 with a yeah. recurve, yeah, and that's and that's the kind of Robin Hood I'm talking. Like I would prefer. <laughs> Arrows touching to me in where they're supposed to be <laughs> is more I impressive that, yeah. than an arrow stacked inside the back Unfortunately, most of the time one. when that happens, I'm usually like six inches you know, high <laughs> off to the right. I look, ah, oh, I'm consistent. <laughs> now I'm going to just you know, be consistently Let's closer be honest, to That's why you I use one arrow because you're like, my grouping's tight today. Yep. My group is tight. All my arrows are touching. She got out they're of me again. They're all right in the right area. <laughs> look at that group. That's like, what, quarter inch? <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, a whole lot's being exposed. Yeah, right now. I know. We're just this is going to be the vulnerability podcast. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. VCP, vulnerable. No. So, uh, uh, second thing in that video I saw was you had a new release. Yeah, I Talk did. Talk about that. Yeah. So I've been um, using Mr. Pro Staff with uh, Hotshot. Field Staff. Field Staff. Field staff. Sorry. Field staff with field Hotshot. Staff. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've been using the haze a little bit. The haze. And I think it's the four finger. Um, I like hazing you. Yeah, and it's a um, thumb release. And it's been a big change for me. Okay. How okay. long have you been using it? Only like a week or two. And Ooh. when I say a week or two, it's because I've only been, I've had it longer than that. A buddy sent it to me to borrow and for a little bit. you just haven't been shooting. I just haven't been shooting because I can't shoot at five. You know, you won't let me nice, shoot at a five beautiful spot. Beautiful five you space. Won't, you won't let me shoot at 20 yards. You won't let me you shoot at a five spot. You just have a target so then, at two feet. And you're like, nope, not good enough for me. Yeah. 40 and under, I don't do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that was if it's, No, I said if it's if it's anything under 40 yards, it's not worth shooting. It's not even practice. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, so I've been shooting the haze for a little while. And, um, and when I say a little while, I really mean a little while. And so for me, going from the index release for the last, what, two and a half years, whatever it's been. Um, yeah, started in 2018. Um, two years or so, whatever. Man, anyway. You're just a veteran at this. No, Archer I'm not. Game. I'm really not, let's be honest. <laughs> but but index and then, you know, rifle, all mm-hmm. that stuff, it's just all ingrained in your index finger is the, is the killing machine. Um, it's been really weird and difficult changing. Hmm. And so there's a few adjustments I still need to make on it. Um, but I'm trying not to make a judgment too quickly on whether or not it's a good release for me. Okay. Um, because I feel like you just got to put enough arrows down range before you can really make a good yeah. judgment. Because anytime well, you do something new, it's going to feel different and weird. Just like these headsets, I'm not getting the same sound back. Know, and it's you, hard it just, for me to it like just it. It's like hard for rattled, me to like it. Rattled it's, through it's the world and, tonight. Yeah, I know. But it's new <laughs> and, and in, in time, <laughs> it probably will just smooth out into smooth out. what's known and, and comfortable. So there you go. Um, I'm just giving it some more time. All right. Um, but what what are some of the, the, the differences that you've noticed that you like, dislike, or just mm-hmm. in general? Um, I would say the, the lack of uh, conscious control with the thumb mm. because it's so unfamiliar, and so there's more surprise shots. Hmm. They they're coming more easily now. If I do the index correctly, mm-hmm. it's still a surprise shot. Yeah, but it's a lot harder for right now anyway to achieve a surprise shot with the index release as far as execution mm-hmm. as it is with the thumb release where it's like oh it went off okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm ready but not ready. You know what I mean? Um, and so and and it, part of it's probably I don't know how much of it yet, hmm. but I feel like part of it's attributed to just being doing something totally new. Yeah. And part of it is that perhaps, and this is why I'm giving it some time, um, that it might just be a better thing to be using with the thumb back tension mm-hmm. um, and using that. It might be more appropriate, I guess, maybe for yeah. um, continually getting those surprise shots and, yeah. and not being, because your finger is just, I mean, yeah. your index finger, it's 
I, I mean, I know mine's tuned in for killing, so, uh, no, so, um, yeah, I like that part of it. Um, one thing I don't like for me, uh, is I have carpal tunnel in both my hands. God, you're um, so old. I know, really old. It's actually <laughs> you're, because I- You're not even 30 yet. I'm told- You're not supposed I'm, to have that. <laughs> I'm told that I work, I was told by my, uh, physical therapist that I've just worked so hard and I got gorilla arms, so, uh, no big deal. Uh, thanks, Jim. Uh, so anyway- <laughs> Because <laughs> I was, I felt like such a loser when he told me. <laughs> <laughs> like such a loser, like oh my gosh, really already? Must, must have been from all those weights you looked at in like, high school. To yeah, get it, shredded abs. It actually could have a been a great Instagram post. Yeah, no, those aren't public, uh, unfortunately. And well, so, it could be. <laughs> it's not. You, you swore. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't swear anything. <laughs> you did. I thought we had an oath. Nope. <laughs> we have something to talk about after this. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I have. Um, I'll take a new Black Widow bow. <laughs> <laughs> not being blackmailed. I'm not being Black Widow mailed. Oh, um, uh, nice play in thanks. words. Um, I'll take it. Still take. And a so for me, pulling back the the release where my fingers are just gripping it, mm-hmm. opposed to having that really like I have yeah. the boa wrist strap. Yeah. That, Gets it, Did like, you transfer that strap over to no, that? Or no, no, no. Oh, okay. So this one I'm borrowing for the moment, so I don't want to get too many things mixed up on it. You don't want to ruin it. Levi's releases. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's actually, that's it. Uh, <laughs> and so, again, I don't know if it's just because it's new, mm. but I know for sure that I would not want to be shooting, you know, any gotcha. any real quantity of arrows if okay. I'm having to pull that back. Pull back. Now, I did pull back with just really letting go of the release and... And letting just that back strap, with the, the arm, yep, letting the strap than come hands. back. Yep, um, and then grabbed it. Okay, I didn't practice that a whole ton, but it did feel like it was. It felt manageable. Okay, um, but again, I think it's just coming down to figuring out like, do I want to mm. change a bunch of things to make to make this release work? Gotcha. Um, if it's really serving my purpose, the yeah. best purpose for me or ability. Even. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess yeah. Well, so is that, is that a three finger or is that a four finger? Haze? I believe it's a four finger because I'm pretty sure four. I got my pinky on there too. Yeah, that's four. Um, one thing that's interesting with that, and again, I haven't shot it enough yet, um, but there's definitely something to like actually like your hand rocking and the tension and torque mm. you have on it to where it makes me really want to try out a three finger um, mm. release to so where yeah. you, there's not as much of that yeah. variable. Because I definitely can feel when my hand's going like this. Yep. And so like to get that consistency when you're pulling through, um, that's been difficult, but it's just so early on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, I feel also like I found get a like, lot of arrows shot. Before depending on the angle, when I you know, went through my forty different releases, yeah. um, problem that yeah, depending on that angle of the 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 handle, mm-hmm. if it was more forward, I yeah. definitely noticed. Whereas like ultimately, when I settled on the Hot Shot Tempest, I liked it. Just had a nice curve to it, um, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it gave me um, enough. Of a purchase, especially because I was pulling eighty pounds then, yeah, to be able to pull back with good control, yeah, without feeling like I was, yeah, um, really inducing a lot of torque into sure. it. Yeah, so yeah, definitely plays, yeah, playing around with the various well, releases. Well, like trying, will help. To, I think it's really going to come down to finding a. Balance. Is that one? Is that one pretty straight? Yeah, it's not yeah. really extreme. It's not really extreme, which is to me like it's nice when you're actually pulling the bow back mm-hmm. to have all that purchase yeah, on that thing. Yeah, that's right. Just oh. and it feels like your whole whole hand is involved yep. in getting that back. Um, but once it's back there, I could definitely see where mm. it just being like a couple knuckles, yep. so you're not having this extreme where when it's out here you have so yep. much leverage on it. Um, I could see how just a couple knuckles would really really work yeah. nice. So. Mm. Um, I'm going to try out a few different ones. Uh, with that one, um, I've enjoyed it just overall, and it's just been different. Yep. Um, but I think i got to make some adjustments, like, on the barrel and everything. Yeah. And just as far as, like, the actual uh, sense, the uh, how light it is, okay. I need to really lighten it. At least for lighten me. Lighten like, up? I really like a light, light, light yeah. release. That's and where I, that's what that I a, had. Okay, okay. Yeah, I had a light, light release, but I also set mine to where I would have the barrel. Yeah. So I was able to curl my thumb around it. Yeah, I'm it. trying to get it deeper. Yeah, because yep. when I was out here, yep. I felt Towards really inconsistent mm-hmm. versus being able to curl around it. Because then I could set this yep. and then pull back yeah. 
with my with my back yep. rather than trying to yes see and, and that's where that's where I, I really am mm. trying to drop down that barrel really low yeah so that I can get my thumb wrapped around my tiny little hands yeah I, I can get tiny, my thumb wrapped around that barrel little. enough to um, feel like it's in a stationary position yep. and then pull yeah you especially I mean? yeah once you kind of curl it it's it's like yeah. set yeah because right now it's right in like the middle back. of the, the pat, thumb yeah back. and then then it's I found that it was super start, easy for me to just, just want to like just press like, it tap it real quick yeah versus just curl anchor pull through and yeah so that'll be, that'll so be i would fun. say um if i had to compare them right now i still like the nano post better um i have that on the lightest setting um but in fairness to the haze i have not shot it i don't think i've shot it enough mm-hmm. um i don't think i've made the adjustments that i would like to make because i like zero creep because mm. i've found even with this one i shot it Probably thirty times, and I was like, "Up, oh, I know where the creep is," and my mm. mind is just like, oh, "Yep, yeah, yep, you kind of feel that." You're like, "It's gonna go off, it's gonna go off, it's gonna go off." Yep. And so then I would find like I'd start taking up that creep, and I'd be like, "Oh, now all I have to do is go." Doot. Yep. Um, and so if I can eliminate that and really get it to where I can have that barrel deep into my thumb, yeah, I feel like that that yeah. will give it a better. I'm curious more, to a, see a how fair, it goes a for more you. Fair chance of uh, uh, outing the the nano post for me, but nice, nice. Definitely, I think I can already see the merits of trying a, a couple, like a three finger one. As yeah, well. pretty exciting. Though. So well, there you go, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Forty releases later, you might find one no, you like. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to do the forty release thing. Uh, how no, many? How I many does Hot Shot make? <laughs> not forty. Yeah, not not quite forty. So. Um, yeah, so that's that's been interesting. And then uh, I know. We are you doing turkey hunting this year? I am doing okay. turkey hunting. So that's what's coming up next. Yeah, and. Uh, I keep flip flopping from bow to shotgun. I don't know if you're you're fully committed to the trad life. I'm fully committed to the bow life and now the trad life. Are you so going on your trip again? To down the Steve's area? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Steve and I yeah. we've got we've actually we've got a trad Excuse hunt me? for turkeys. Trad turkey strictly, hunt. Strictly, strictly trad? both of us. Like, okay. Both of I, us. Okay. You know how uh <laughs> you were able to share our Venator Chronicle post on his mm-hmm. media sites. I legitimately thought that you accidentally shared one of your trad bow posts on his site. Because <laughs> I saw a trad bow and I'm like, that's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, no, that was Steve. So it looks like he was back. I, I made the arrows for Steve. Nice. So nice. We, we're running the com- a similar setup. Um, but yeah, we, 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 uh, we're both, yeah, we're going to do a trad turkey hunt. Mm-hmm. Um, we both got our trad bows. And Are you doing anything special for broadheads? Anything different than white tail? No. Or just the same? Um, I think I don't know. After talking with Snyder on the last podcast, I might pick up a few uh, wider cut broadheads because uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm only running a two blade. Um, they're, yeah, they're decently they're narrower, mm-hmm. so I might pick up some wider ones just mm-hmm. for white tail. But because um, with the trad, you're still keeping cut on contact. Yeah, I'm keeping yeah, cut on contact. Nothing... Um, and so I'm running some Zwicky Escolites right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll use those for the turkey. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so I'm excited uh, to try those, and they're uh, they're they're definitely old school. Yeah, been around since 1938, yeah. I think. So nice, nice. yeah, um, but yeah, I'm super excited for turkey season coming up. I, I'm just kind of working through. I got some new arrows, really dialing those in. Um, I was I was they uh, last month I made a a little I took a little like metal rod mm-hmm. to kind of use as a post on my shelf to raise the arrow up. Mm-hmm. But when I was bear shaft tuning in here in the last few weeks, I just kept getting a lot of like really weird kicks. Yeah. Like the arrow would like kick out left, mm-hmm. the tail would kick out left. And I, I was just in the knock point up and down, and nothing I was doing was getting rid of it. So I was like, oh, maybe it's that shelf. And so I took the little shelf off, and that really cleaned out um, the click or the, the kick mm-hmm. out. And yeah. so I've been playing around with really trying to get the arrows dialed in. So that's been kind of fun and mm-hmm. um, just seeing. The various effects on things and whatnot. And yeah. So, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, as I've been thinking about uh, turkey hunting this year because I want to have my kids come out and my wife Ooh. if she's up for it. I got my oldest coming out this year. <sighs> she's going shotgun. So, wow, I'll are you even to... a good dad, dude? Unbelievable. Rebelli- Unbelievable. Rebellious practice child. What you, practice what you she, preach. She's in. She's in rebellion. That's dude, all. Dude, like, <laughs> how how are you going to tell her that she's not yours? <laughs> <laughs> I digress. I digress. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, um, but no, I think uh, <clears throat> I've been flip flopping a little bit, trying to figure out what this turkey season is going to look like. Mm-hmm. Um, ben Dvorak. Um, it sounds cool. like Thursday, Friday. 
of my hunt because I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I believe, um, available. And I thought about when he's out there mm -hmm. with me because um, he'd be doing the calling. He's got his own areas where um, he, he knows where some birds are at. And so with him, I actually did consider using the bow. Okay. Because I thought if I don't have to focus on yeah. calling and all that stuff and I can just focus on – you know, he, he can do the expertise side of it as far as that goes because I do want to learn. I, I, I want to learn the calling side in, in that part. Um, but then I also thought on whether it's Friday or Saturday when my kids are coming out, if I haven't gotten anything, um, just using a shotgun yeah. with them so that the so they odds is, is much higher um, of actually getting So you something. look good in front of your kids. I get it. <laughs> and I hadn't, I hadn't, thought of, <laughs> I hadn't thought about it like that, but you know, that actually makes a little you know. sense. It's like, why would you settle for a little buck when you can but, go after a big buck? I, I, um, I'm a little, I'm a little off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they just rock guess, your world. You know, man. I guess uh, I just want my kids to think I look cool, and uh, you know, it's for them. Hey, we're, we're just being vulnerable. We're being vulnerable. It's right for now. them. I love my children. I want them to have a good. You want to have the experience. <laughs> uh, things that go bang is much uh, more fun. Mm. Um, yeah, so I thought about if I hadn't gotten anything, mm. just use the shotgun on the Makes sense. on the weekend. And plus, it's just way easier to well, deal it's with. The, and it's it's the weekend that probably I'm not, I'm guessing I'm not going to be hunting uh, after Sunday, basically. And so, if I need to like pull pull whatever odds I can get in my favor, I'm going to do that at that point anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that that that's what my season looks like. And I'm nice. con I'm considering uh, bringing out the bow, but I'm. I don't, See, like, have you seen? You've seen like the ridiculous broadheads. Yeah, for turkeys that, like had to cut the, the it. Field dresses your turkey for Snyder, you. Snyder's running one out of his tread bow for turkey. Yeah, for turkey. Is he really? Yeah. See, uh, how much tuning the solid do you think that's decal? Take? If your bow and arrows tune, none. You just slap it on. Slap it on. Flies, yeah. flies like a field point. Fly <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, wow! You fell into the trap again. Yeah. Flies well, like a field point. Yeah. If your bow and arrow are perfectly tuned in line with one another. Yeah, but there's definitely got to be some trajectory change with uh, a big old... Well, I'm sure at some distance, like but yeah. at like 20, 25 yards. I don't yards. shoot under 40, like I told you, man. Uh, uh, then you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to use those iron wells. Yeah, well, I might have to uh, I might have to look into one of those because that's been the thing I've been... If I do use my bow, I'm like... I'm just. I mean, I'm good. Just going I mean, the, I'm good. You're really good. Wrong. Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, you're gonna spine shoot the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> just drop the next, it. The next uh, attached to the spine. So I mean, it's <laughs> entirely possible. Oh, Might be the man. most ethical shot I could do. See, that's the nice thing about the Minnesota turkey season, especially for an archer. Yeah, here, go ahead, rub it in. I've got a month and a half. It doesn't matter what season, what area. If I want to go archery hunting for turkey, I can go whenever, wherever. Doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about a week season to a certain area. It's beautiful. Yeah. That would be I nice. still haven't gotten anything in the last you know, three years of trying, so, but <laughs> it's a beautiful thing knowing I can go wherever, whenever. <laughs> I can still go outside with purpose. That's mm -hmm. all I'm hearing. Pretty much. So I might even actually get my wife out turkey hunting this spring. Really? Yeah. Nice. My she, wife was, she was, she seemed open to the idea. Okay. Because it's going to be nicer weather. Um, it's just not as dude. Deer hunting. The more I like yeah. look at other hunting seasons, I'm like, man, deer hunting is really brutal. It is brutal, and that's where I love turkey hunting. Just, I mean, a, I just enjoy chasing after turkeys because it's fun and it's challenging. But also, the season is pretty nice. And I mean, yeah. And so, my oldest is excited. I went out and bought her a shotgun. We got a youth model shotgun, so it'll be good for her and the wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, I'm excited as the kids get older. Yeah, because turkey season is just. They're just a fun animal to yeah. chase Yeah, well, after. and it's a little bit more, it's the thing, is like it's a it's little so bit more of that run and gun. Yeah. And you're not like if you sitting sit, there for four hours. Yeah, you sit in a spot for a half hour if you're not seeing or hearing anything. Hey, let's move to a different spot. Let's go see if we can strike up a gobbler. Yeah. As they so, say, yeah. I'm told. So, this is all theory, of course, because yeah. neither one of us has actually killed a turkey. No, not even close. <laughs> so, well, again, our, close. our hey, expert, I've actually been close uh, yeah. a few times. I've, yeah. I've, I've been within time? inches. Yeah, you didn't need that range finder. I remember that. Um, the internal range finder. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't calibrated very well at that point. You just never seen such I've a monster. Missed, so I've, I've missed. I've missed three three turkeys now. 
So yeah, yeah, with with a compound and a and a recurve. So I missed one from a deer stand. So this you got that. Ho- hopefully, is the year mm-hmm. I finally get one. So I'm feeling good. Nice. So that's legit. Yeah. I uh, I missed a turkey in 2018 from the deer stand. <sighs> That was when my my draw length was like the string, yeah. like back to behind. My, ear, my ear hole. Behind, and so like I'm like bending down <laughs> to try to like make the shot. There's just so many things. I still have so many things, but that was in hindsight. I'm like, yeah, no wonder. It was brutal. No consistency. Yeah, it was really. It was. I'm. Oh, man. I was way more. Uh, all, well, I was all over the map. Basically, is what it was. You're still all over the map. I am in a lot of ways, but uh, not in the different same, ways. In the same, not in the same it's ways. Not yep, in the same I ways. totally. Totally agree with yeah, that. So, you know what? I'm also looking forward to. I don't know how long. Uh, we will. Hey, it's got a nice little timer. Yeah, right it's there. got a timer on that. Yeah, yeah man. See, this is yeah. This is fun. This is this this podcast. We're just going wherever, whenever yeah. takes us. So, because we got real no intended purpose, and you guys are all bored at home. So, yeah, this is that again. You're gonna this listen. Is why it's called the lockdown. The lockdown, the lockdown episodes. episodes. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to getting out and doing some 3D shoots this summer. Mm-hmm. Dude. And Bowfest Bow coming Fest is up. Bowfest going to be awesome as long as, so, as long as it's not canceled. It, hopefully it's not canceled by the Dude, end of July. I keep saying this COVID-19 thing is just a part of the cancel culture you know, <laughs> that we live in now. It's, everything's getting canceled. The purge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the purge. Here, uh, Dustin and I are risking our, our li- lives, our lives to, coming to out to record. Yeah. yeah, for you guys, okay? <laughs> Oh boy, uh, we just lost like four people. Yeah, well, either that or the COVID nineteen got them. Yeah. <laughs> too soon? Too soon? Uh, Maybe too soon. we don't yeah, know. We don't know. Um, yeah. So, I mean, all serious, we we do take the COVID nineteen. Yeah, we're not serious <laughs> enough. We do. We, we do. just yeah. We quit it gets to be a little rough during podcasts. Yeah, it gets so. to be a little rough though. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. You gotta have humor, otherwise yeah. it's all too heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm. Dude, Bowfest this year, I'm so excited for it. Yes. So excited. So excited. I'm, I'm excited to see what crew we get to come out with us. So if yeah. you guys are wanting to join us, yeah. let us know. Well, this year it sounds like we'll be going out multiple days. Yes, which I think thankfully. Is big. Way better because trying to knock out all four Not courses. Trying. We did we knock, did out, knock all, out. Exhausted. Yeah, that was. we put on 12 miles, almost 12 miles, mm. which... To some people, that's one day worth of hunting in the backcountry. Yeah, so <laughs> we're not talking to those people, all right? We're we're talking we're, to the we're Midwesterners. Quarter, those we quarter walk mile walkers. We, yeah, we walk a quarter mile in, sit in a stand all day, eat a bunch of ho hos, <laughs> <and> cookies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and we walk out. Yeah. Like that's but then we're white tail. We're white tail fit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, oh, good back. Uh, <laughs> oh. So, um, so that was a lot of miles, and I mean that was do, fun though. Do you remember me at the end of that? Yeah, I just, cram- just I was cramping, sprawl. sprawled out. Yeah, cramping. To- I was cramping. Yeah. It was bad. You, I got you some stuff you- for you this hey, year. You, well, we talked about like I actually drank too much water. Yeah, because and your your I, like, sodium levels, completely flushed my potassium, system. magnesium yep. levels were all. <laughs> Yeah, because I just flushed everything, everything out. out. I, yeah, you were. You I had like were two or three camelbacks yeah. of water. And you're just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole time. Yep. Yeah. And then by the end, you're like, oh, my hammy. Oh. Where's my quads? Oh. Like, whatever. Let whatever. it be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a fun time. I I'm enjoyed giving it. him the death glare. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so. No, so I'm, I'm super excited. Like you said, the yeah. crew's going to be awesome. And then. Um, I'll probably bring my two older boys yeah. for one of the days nice. and just have them bring their little bows. That's probably just go him. walk to like one or two targets at least. Probably gonna um, try to bring out a couple of my kids as well. Nice. That'd be sweet. We'll coordinate the days. There you go. And then uh and then hopefully we can knock out a few podcasts. Yeah. Because we'll be mo- extra mobile. Mobile yes. with our new equipment. That'll be super so, nice. Yeah. And uh, hopefully by uh this drops, we'll have gotten you guys the sweet new swag. Swagadaga. Show them Ethan. Look at that. The yeah, yeah, sway coming out, the YouTube. t-shirts and yeah. the, sweatshirts. Dude, that was so cool. There were so many people that uh, that had bought some stuff that <laughs> just like, I just kind of asked. I was like, hey, my buddy and I, we have this podcast. So if you're interested in supporting us. and like just my going around best, Superior. Best, saying, yeah, just knocking, just on doors, <laughs> knocking on doors like a Jehovah <laughs> Witness. <laughs> hey, that would actually be a really good time to do that right now. What do you mean? Everybody's home right now. <laughs> That's what they'd, they'd like throw up like a red. Yeah. Egg. <laughs> so, uh. um, anyway, but it was really cool. Like people, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe at best they'll they'll 
purchase something, one of the cheapest things. It's like people were like, yeah, I'll take one of everything. I'm like, what? So I just, it was really awesome. Really appreciate yeah. everybody's contributions to uh, to buy some, well, I mean, you got, some, you got something out of it that's pretty dope. Um, but then also it just means giving a lot back. just in general yeah. and like giving back. Um, and yeah, definitely by the time you hear this, you'll have your stuff. We're just waiting on some hats. Yeah. But, and uh, COVID-19. Uh, to subside. To subside. <laughs> yeah. Contagion. The, uh, the height of it. To, Contagion 2020. Yeah. That's the thing is like, there's a, a large sum of uh, pickups on there and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I want everybody coming to my house. Yeah. <laughs> just, I will leave it outside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Spray it down. Yeah. Um, have you been doing anything uh, whitetail related recently um, at all? Or? No. no, I've. I'm honestly, I'm kind of on the turkey season. I get mm-hmm. once whitetail's done, it's mm-hmm. I, I kind of take a little break. Mm-hmm. Um, and plus, I've been doing starting to kind of get in preparation where I got a really big jujitsu uh, tournament coming up at the uh, end Olympia of May. Olympia again? Olympian again? Or uh, no? No, not Olympian, but it's a it's a big old like twenty four man bracket. Thousand uh-huh. dollar cash prize to the winner. Uh huh. Um, you going for that number one spot? I am going for that number one spot. I'm one of the like few purple belts. The rest are all like brown or black. Um, so thankfully it's the same weight class. So I'm just I'm really f- yeah, starting to focus in on that. And uh, hopefully, actually, is that down in the cities? Down in the cities. Nice dude. So, nice. but yeah, really focused on turkey season. I've been talking with my buddy Steve and. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of kind of running through, just shooting trad bows, yeah. and getting all that dialed awesome. in, and just just out practicing. You know, it's mm-hmm. just kind of been nice to, yeah, practice and really try to get some form down, yeah. making some advancements on my 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 grip and, yeah. and whatnot. Are and, you shooting from the ground quite a bit? Like that's that where you're mainly shooting? Like, yeah, probably your practices. Yeah, like on a so, knee or something. No, haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Um, I don't find a whole lot of difference though between shooting on the knees um, to shooting standing up. All I was thinking, all I was thinking, no bent over though. Pro Fest is the only one I'm thinking of where uh, you're yeah, yeah, funky angles, funky angles. Yeah, yeah. you lost an arrow because your leg because my because the bow slapped my leg and just yeah. I haven't practiced that. Okay, okay. So that was a good lesson learned. Just keep your legs out of the way of your bow. That was a good lesson. That was a good lesson. Uh, well, I pulled it. A, I pulled a couple trail cams. Uh, one of them was an absolute flop, mm. and w- which was really interesting to me because I it, they were in places where I would get a couple hundred photos within a couple weeks in the earlier months, mm-hmm. and then um, once snow fell, I literally had like twenty five twenty five pictures. Jeez, over like a few months. That's like a lot of the the, the few areas that I hit. Yeah, once. A decent amount of snow came. They yeah. were all gone. Yeah, and that's. I think that's my next challenge. Is like if I, I got to figure out late season because we just don't have a ton of. Farm, you know, like no, farmland. You no, know what I realized? Huh? Screw late season. We just need to get better at killing something <laughs> yes. sooner yes. in the year. <laughs> I'm up for a velvet buck. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's so whole balance. I mean, that's I fear it's, I fear it's pain, much easier to deal with that than painfully, trying to figure out <laughs> late that's season. Painfully valid. Painfully valid. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a good point. But also, it it has uh, it did uh, like kind of stirred up a, a challenge of like, well, I got to figure out where they're going, what's the food source, just in general, because you know I'm I'm pretty confident in myself, but I I'm gonna just go ahead and go out on a limb here and mm-hmm. say maybe I don't kill something every uh, early season. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I want to try to start to figure out that kind of thing. Nice. Um, so I pulled the one and it only had like twenty five pictures on it. And shout out to the guy who didn't steal anything, Holla. Oh yeah. Um, and then uh, I went and pulled my other trail camera just the other day, and um, there's a good chunk of pictures. And it looks like the buck that was, I think it was a seven or eight pointer, but it was pretty wide. Um, looks like that made it through. So um, nice. That'll be an area. I feel that like I feel like a, next year. a lot of the bucks in this. Unnamed superior region. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> they, they just have a wide. Yeah, they have. They, they're like we've kind of noticed, like they just have a wide. Short and wide, <laughs> like deep and wide, but yeah. yeah. Okay, but a wide uh, rack presentation. Yeah. It doesn't get super, um, like tall. Well, what about that definitely... one that there's that one that I took um off of? Just kidding. I'm not telling you guys where it was. <laughs> It was a ten pointer, yeah. but it was like Beep. I thought it was <laughs> just like <laughs> <laughs> dropping coordinates. Yeah, now, now. <laughs> um, to Siberia. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But there is that one that uh, well that's that goes ahead and that that proves your point exactly. Yeah, there's that fine. one. There's that. There's one. that one out of yeah. like the. 13 or 14 yeah. that I'm probably watching. Mm-hmm. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Touche, sir. Yeah. Short and wide. I don't know why. And darker, too, aren't yep. they? Yeah. I wonder if that darker, has to do with timber. So, so something, yeah, about. interesting. Because the ones I'm watching are not in farmland at all. Yeah. So. so, I don't have any in farmland either. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. Yeah. I'm excited. I, I got to get out and get a lot of my cameras. I'm starting to get some cameras set up. Nice. Um, I did set one camera up the other day. I went to turn it on and realized there's no card in it. <laughs> Oh, I hate dusty. when that happens. Dusty. <laughs> Newbie move. That's Newbie painful. move. That's so, really painful. But I think my, my one of my goals this year is I'm going to spend a lot of time really honing in on trying to find that uh, ten pointer I had seen last year. Mm-hmm. I mean, got him a couple times mm-hmm. on camera mm-hmm. within you know a month of each other. So I know he's out and kind of where he's mm-hmm. been out. Are you going to put frame? like a bunch of cameras back there? I'm going to put a bunch. I am going yeah, to just scare track. Him out of there. Track that guy down. I I believe I know where he's coming from. Okay. Um, but we'll see. Well, it leads you to believe that's where he's coming from. Because I've explored ev- of the area to the west of that land, and there's nothing out there. Uh, but there's Hold a lot on. of sign to the east, yeah, and like a ton of sign that I hadn't had cameras set up okay. early in the year. Nice. And what was and, the name of this buck? Uh S. 19. No, 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 no. What was the name of this box? Sawyer 19. Yeah, I wonder what it is. I wonder where that could be. I hey, it's what, a big area. I wonder what county that could be in. Oh, dude. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, well, I think mainly we do have turkey season come up. Yeah. Coming up, and that is... I mean, It'll be that, fun. Yeah, that's that's It'll not that far off. That's yeah. going to be fun. A month? Be, yeah, a month. Yeah. A month and I'll a be hunting. It's a huge bummer that we had to... Uh, Actually, literally a month from today, I'll be out hunting uh, turkeys. Me and Steve running, gunning, tread style. Dude, that sounds nice. I in plaid. I won't be out yet. Loincloths. I'm like a month and a half or so Aww. before I'm out. I know it's sad. Uh, maybe I'll come film you guys. Ooh. I'd like to do that. And learn some calling There we go. Yeah. Some Which people. is a super bummer with COVID-19. Yeah. Ruining our turkey COVID. calling how seminar can, with Steve Havenstein. How Hobby Game Calls. It. Yeah. I was really looking forward to that. Cause, mm-hmm. So if you guys don't know or haven't heard of uh, Javi Game Calls, go check them out on just Javi Game Calls on Instagram. Um, our buddy Steve makes uh, handmade calls, does a really good job, makes some awesome calls. He's got some new calls he's coming out with mm-hmm. and uh, just high-quality calls. Do you think people believe us more when we actually kill turkeys with them, though? Do you think people believe us more when we kill anything? Yeah. I mean, I've killed one deer in four years. Yeah, but so, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the expert. Like, because of my experience, I f- I have a validated opinion. Mm, okay. So we yeah. talked about that earlier. We did. I'm we sorry. have a podcast. That yeah. means we we're experts. Yes, that's true. That's true. Okay. A couple of white guys with little experience. <laughs> nothing hardly basic. Any animals. Nothing basic about no. That. Absolutely nothing basic. But because about we have that. a podcast. Yep. <coughs> we're the experts. <laughs> Is that COVID? Yeah, it must be COVID. Oh, no, you're going to die now. Uh, um, oh, yeah, man. so we ended up, we can we canceled uh, a seminar because of COVID-19. Yeah. And maybe we'll get it rescheduled. Maybe we'll reschedule it. I, I think, Hopefully. It'd be, yeah, it'd be, be really fun. cool, whoever can make it. Um, you don't have to be a newbie, and if you're a veteran at it, it'd be cool if they just came out anyway. So that I'm, we can learn. That's the main thing is what can I get out of yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. No, I'm really bad. I'm really bad at <laughs> I mean, if you guys saw my turkey calling, I like just choke on. It the, was pretty bad. He yeah, chewed. Was, he chewed the turkey call, the mouth call, to bits like a dog chews a dog toy. It wasn't that bad. It, it was, was still bad. It's still usable. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Well, dude, man, this has been, been fun. Yeah, it, this has been enough of a rant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we no. broke in the Zoom H six, everybody, because mm. no one cares. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we apologize for any like fluctuation in volume and noise. And the, yeah, we're and the toying sound. with it. So we've been toying with it, and we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Yep. All right. So, but hey, till next time, Ethan. Where can uh, people find us if they don't know already? You guys, uh, Instagram is the probably the foremost as far the as just de facto. Daily, yeah, the uh, daily kind of. Most up to date content, and then uh, you, if you're on there, you can go to our link tree and find us on iTunes. Pretty much anywhere podcasts are posted. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, you can watch the video. Um, 
of our wonderful conversations. Yes. Yes. And, and if, the, the nuances of conversation. If you're yeah. looking now, you'll see my hands moving. moving. Uh, Feel like looking at our faces built for a radio? Yeah. That's the place that's to where be. You find us. So, all right, guys. Thanks all for right. listening. Peace, Peace out. out.